coming from somewhere in the vicinity. I should investigate the area. The vessel is highly irradiated. Liv's transport must have had a radiation dampener. I may be able to reactivate it. An airlock, but it appears to be offline. This airlock appears to be intact. It might be functional, but it doesn't seem to be powered. This must have shut down to preserve power. That means Liv was here hours ago. Hopefully I can still catch up to her. That should protect me from the radiation. Liv must have used this to find a way inside. beacon. I should scan it to see if Liv left a message. To anyone receiving this message, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. I'm alive, at least for the time being. Kronos uh, 2's ability to sustain life has been compromised and uh, well, I've been left with little choice but to seek refuge aboard this, this unknown vessel. If you're receiving this Titan command, please send help uh, as soon as you can. The area is heavily irradiated and oh, shit. I can't stay here. Uh, maybe I can get inside. Right, Captain Rhodes signing out. The hull here is compromised. I may be able to cut my way in. The hull is weakened here as well. My cutter should be able to get through. This airlock is damaged beyond repair. I'll need to find another way in. This looks like some kind of maintenance conduit. I may be able to restore power to this section of the ship from here. An auxiliary power supply. Offline, but undamaged.
This looks like an auxiliary power supply, but the biomass has rendered it inoperable. An ionized fluid reservoir, charged contact point. Most likely some kind of power cell. cell installed. Now to replace the rest. Looks like the airlock is powering on. If it's functional, that's my way inside. The airlock is receiving power. I should be able to open it. The controls now have power, but I am unfamiliar with its holographic interface. Holographic controls. Intriguing. If Liv came this way, she may still be in range of my personal communicator. Liv, do you copy? Olivia, are you there? Still jammed. No choice but to follow her trail for now.
The cabin is pressurized, but the air is reading unbreathable. Could it be the biomass? I'm detecting a charge from this device that's similar to the Kronos 2 induction panels. Perhaps I can use it to recharge. I'm able to draw power from this. I can use it to replenish my radiation shield if necessary. This device is holding an electric charge and is linked to nearby equipment. Probably a capacitor of some kind. It must be what's powering the induction panel. A large compartment, roughly humanoid in shape. This could be a staging area of some sort. It looks like I can access the ship's infrastructure from here. This is similar to the emergency junctions on the Kronos. I may be able to redirect the power flow, but I'll need to cut this cover off first. The data displayed here does not match any code or language listed in my database. Those spores could be what's contaminating the air supply.
before it detonated on contact with my cutter. Maybe I can clear some of the contamination. Spread biocontamination. I should be careful. over there went dormant when the power failed. It seems to be tied directly to the vessel's power grid. This bulkhead is sealed. Maybe I can cut through to reach the locking mechanism. Locking mechanism released. Now to pry the door open.
Something's pierced the hull. This appears to be releasing spores into the air supply. A bioweapon, perhaps. I can re-enter the main cabin from here. These spores detonate on contact. They would deplete my radiation shield in short order if I don't avoid them. Curious, these warheads don't match anything in my database. What is that? Strange.
high-velocity magnetic rail. The impact from a weapon like this would be immense. This area is highly irradiated. My scanner might help me find a safe path across.